Hi, I'm uh, Rita McGrath from the Columbia Business School, and I'm here at Davos, and I'm just back from facilitating a fascinating luncheon session on uh, entrepreneurship, which is creating new opportunities within the world. And we spent a chunk of time touching on uh, some of the things that trip companies up when they're trying to do this. So the existing structure, for example, doesn't support doing new things, or the incentive system doesn't really reward people for doing new things, or the ideas get squashed by the existing corporate bureaucracy. But one of the points that I thought was most interesting was that companies really struggle with accepting the fact that if you're going to be innovative, you're going to have to tolerate a certain amount of failure. And the concept that I was uh, particularly intrigued by is an idea that I call intelligent failure, which is if you create a, aid a contract with your people that says, it's okay to fail if you meet certain conditions. And the kinds of conditions I'm thinking of is the action was carefully planned so that if it fails, you know why and you've learned from it and you don't have to repeat that failure again. Secondly, it was uh, carefully designed so that it was low in risk, that it was quick, so that you failed fast, so that you build in mechanisms to share the learning with others and so that you have a rigorous post-mortem process to communicate to other people uh, if something didn't go wrong so that they can benefit from it. And I think getting better at failing intelligently is really going to be important to the intrapreneurs of tomorrow. Okay. So